Hi everybody, my name is Mike Burns and I'm going to conquer the wheel. Well, actually I currently live in Orlando, Florida. I am married to my beautiful wife Alicia. I have two kids. My son's name is Declan. He's three and a half. My daughter, her name is Michaela. She's one and a half. So as you can imagine with two little kids running around, there's not a whole lot of peace and quiet or sleep for that matter. But uh, I also am a restaurant general manager. We call it managing partner here in Orlando for a great restaurant company. I get to uh, eat great food and drink good wine, so who wouldn't love that job? I know I definitely do. Um, the question is, you know, why the wheel? And I thought to myself, uh, I don't know, why the wheel? It's crazy. My wife thinks I'm crazy. You know, who wouldn't want to sleep in the snow in Alaska or walk through the deserts in Africa? Um, I would. That would be me. I'm the crazy enough guy that would uh, do those types of things. Um, I've had some experience with uh, a few of those environments in my uh, other careers, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, just wanted to tell you a little bit about you know why I chose the wheel and what's motivating me to do this. Um, it's really not about anything to prove. I mean, I guess if I had to prove something, I, I'd want to prove it to myself that I could do this. You know, having been exposed to this in the past and a good 15 years ago, uh, I would like to see if I'm able to do that again and still keep up with uh, the kind of training that I I'd become used to back in the military and just to see if I could do it and push myself to the limits in all kinds of extreme environments. Um, really, uh, I think about my kids and I think that they would probably motivate me the most because uh, I would love for them to be able to look back on this experience and you know, watch their dad up there on TV one day and think to myself, uh, I hope they can watch that and go, wow, that's my dad? He's doing that? He, he's that guy on TV doing that right now? I, I can't believe it. And, you know, and if I can inspire them to do things like that in their life and just really go after things and realize that uh, hard work does pay off, then that's a victory for me. You know, that's all I really want to do is I want to inspire them to be better people, better citizens, you know, give back to the community and, and know that uh, if they want something in life, they got to go get it no matter what the odds. Um, you know, what makes me think I can actually do this? Well, I mentioned before, I did have some experience. I was in the military. I served in the Marine Corps for four years, back in 1997 to 2001, so just prior to 9-11. Um, during those four years, though, I, I did get exposed to a lot of different environments. I was able to travel a lot. I had been to 14 countries and 90 cities in the four years that I was in. So I'd been in the deserts of California, deserts of North Africa, been in some of the mountains in Slovenia and Croatia. We even did some, you know, work in Turkey and, you know, even Bosnia back when that was happening. So uh, as far as environments go, I definitely have been exposed to these. I've had had some limited training on you know a lot of those different environments so I think that would help me survive in those situations um, not gonna lie the cold scares me a little bit um, no one really likes cold I know I don't that would probably be my biggest challenge uh, adapting to that cold environment um, I live in Florida now and that's for a reason I always said I would never be that cold again after getting out of the Marine Corps but uh, a challenge like this I, I think I could overcome it you know, my strengths would probably be more of the, uh, the desert environments, uh, the marshes, you know, living in Florida, um, some of the mountainous terrain, uh, even the jungles, a uh, little bit of Puerto Rico, uh, I think of Panama, the jungle situation there, and uh, even the Carolinas, just going through the woods there, so it's definitely helped me. Um, why would I be adaptable to these situations and what makes me think that I'd be determined enough to do this? Because um, I've done it. You know, and I, I think of, uh, again, back to the military, when I was in sniper school, uh, the final phase was graduation week, and we had to move about 60 miles on foot with 85-pound packs. And that was not an easy task by itself, but uh, I, I was able to accomplish it, and I actually did it without any food. Believe that. Um, we started off the week, we are supposed to get limited rations, and uh, part of the process is how well we plan. And my partner and I, we failed to put food on our packing list, so uh, hence, we didn't get food. So it became the running joke throughout the week. Every time we would, uh, after different missions that we'd accomplish, we would meet up with the instructors and they'd ask us, you know, do you want some food? And kind of tease us a little bit. And at the end of the day, they never really gave us any of the food. They just teased us. And so the week went by and we continued with our missions and we made it the 60 miles plus on foot, um, carrying all that weight with us and got to the graduation the last uh, day. And they finally pulled us in and said, congratulations, you passed. And you did a fantastic job on all the uh, events. So what day did you finally eat? And my partner and I looked at each other and like, we haven't yet, we haven't eaten yet, so we're still waiting. And uh, 
they couldn't believe it. They thought we were lying, and it became a big deal. And it turns out, you know, they realized, wow, we hadn't eaten, and we'd made it through that entire week. So, uh, big deal for us, you know. And to me, I've never forgot that lesson, which is, you know, true grit, determination. If you want something, you, you got to go get it. And I was determined that I was going to pass that course, and I knew nothing was going to get in my way. And uh, we graduated, and I've never looked back since then. Um, I really am excited about the opportunity to be on the show. You know, I think talking to my wife, who again, she thinks I'm crazy for wanting to even attempt something like this, but uh, I know my work is uh, supporting me if this does work. Um, I know my wife will support me if uh, this happens, uh, as well as the immediate family helping to take care of the kids. I know my uh, mom will be more than happy to come down and watch the kids for a few weeks while we uh, take on this adventure. But uh, if I can inspire someone, to me, that would be the ultimate victory. And, you know, my kids especially, if I can inspire them to just work hard and go after things and never give up, and I think that, that what this show is going to be a lot about is determination in you know, the face of adversity. And I'm going to conquer that. And, you know, I'm going to do the best I can to conquer that. So uh, that's about all I got for right now. And, uh, again, thank you for giving me the opportunity and possibly the chance to be on the show. And, like I said, my name is Mike Burns, and I'm here to conquer the wheel. That is my plaque that I received when I graduated sniper school, along with my hog's tooth necklace there. That was quite some time ago. Picture of us on the boat. Plaque that was presented to me by the team once I left the Marine Corps. And just a picture to remind me of uh, what I used to do for a living. Here's just a few of my extracurricular activity. So there is my old USMC bayonet. There is my brass knuckles knife I used to carry on my harness. That would be my 22. Also my Walther 9mm. Let's not forget my 45 with laser grip. Also my favorite one, my wife's pink Walther 22. My H&K 40. As I mentioned earlier, I did serve in the Marine Corps, so I was a Marine Scout sniper. Here's a little present of mine to help keep my uh, shooting skills up to par. So that's my 30 out 6 sniper rifle with bipod legs and strap. And then a 22, something that I've helped uh, my wife learn how to shoot with and hopefully one day teach my kids how to shoot. Um, as I mentioned, I am a triathlete. So that's my triathlon bike. I just finished a race last weekend. I'm getting ready to do another one on July 9th. Um, one of the other things I've been working on is scuba diving. So I'm currently doing my scuba dive for my open water paddy certification. There's my new fins and mask, as well as my wetsuit there hanging up. Just tried that on today to make sure it worked. And let's not forget one of my favorite toys. Probably my midlife crisis right there, but that would be my Yamaha V-Star 1300. Something to help me uh, get through the days. It said to showcase your trophies. Well, this is my wife. She's always going to be a trophy to me. And my biggest trophy of all, that's my son, Declan. There's my daughter, Michaela. Again, there's, new t there's no two better trophies than my son and my daughter. Love those guys.